So for those that have been following the flexi panel that I've had on the roof of my caravan that's failed, well I've taken the panel off. Now it's about 12.30, uh, just a little bit after midday. You can see the sun up there like that. So we're in full sun. It is winter time. Nonetheless, 160 watt panel is producing. If I can zoom in on that, we're getting around about 34 watts out of a 160 watt flexible panel that has been up on the roof of the caravan in the summer sun. So this panel has failed and it is only six months old. So this is where I had it mounted on the roof of the caravan. You can see I've just had some silicon here, just ran some tracks of silicon and put the panel down on the roof. And it certainly stuck that panel really, really secure. That was not going to come off in the wind, that was for sure. Now, it's a common theme with these flexible panels, regardless of the brand, is they do fail when you mount them hard flat on a surface like the roof of the van here because they just can't disperse the heat. Now, where I live here in Western Australia, our summers are brutal. We have temperatures that go into the mid 40 degrees Celsius, and I think that's sort of getting about to 115 Fahrenheit for my US viewers. So they're the conditions that we've got to have panels operate in this country where I am. So unfortunately, these panels here, these flexible, panels I can grab this one the flexible panels here are just not an option for the caravan for me and the environment I'm in now I'm going to be taking this back to King's yes it's a King's panel and I'm going to be putting a warranty claim on that panel because it's only six months old they are aware of it because I have contacted them regard uh, regarding it so they did tell me to take it off send it in and they'll have a look at it so hopefully they'll honor their warranty with that panel and our sun's come back out again. So just a quick little video on the follow-up of the flexi panel that has failed. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you've had any issues with any of these flexi panels as well, regardless of what brand it is. And wait for the next awesome video that'll be coming out on the Off Grid channel.